Hello everyone. Today is the second class of the chapter rectilinear figure. Okay. Now today I am going to start with the some related types of quadrilaterals. These types of quadrilaterals we have already learned up to the class seven. So just all of you try to recall. Which is given in your textbook. Okay, just let me explain what are the types of the quadrilateral. See here, first it is the trapezium, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. Please try to all of you recall one against through your book. Okay, and then after you start the theorem number eleven. So see the theorem number eleven to prove that in a parallelogram both The pairs of opposite sides are equal. We have proved that in a parallelogram A B C D. Now we have proved that here in a parallelogram A B C D, A B equal to C D and A D equal to B C. That we have to prove here if A B C D is a parallelogram. So suppose A B C is a parallelogram. And if it is the parallelogram, that means the opposite sides will be parallel. So AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BD and join AC. So given a parallelogram ABC to prove AB equal to CD and AD equal to BC and constructions join the diagonals A to C. Now to prove proof part. We have proved this part. Okay, so please consider in triangle ABC and triangle ACD. See here, here it is the angle one is equal to angle two. Why? Since AB is parallel to what CD. AB is parallel to CD. So alternate angle. So right angle one is equal to angle two by the alternate angle. And similarly, here it is the angle three equal to angle four by the same reason. And here you can see AC equal to AC, which is common. Therefore. What triangle ABC is congruent to the triangle ACD by which property? See by which property these two these two triangles are congruent since two angle and what side? So by the property of ASAS or property. Therefore, if these two triangles are congruent, that means opposite side will be equal. So AB is equal to CD, and AD is equal to BC. So hence proved. Hence proved. Okay. This is the concept from the. What congruency of the triangle? Now the next theorem, which is theorem number twelve. This theorem number twelve is just converse theorem of theorem number eleven. So see to prove that in a parallelogram both the pairs of opposite angles are equal. If it is the parallelogram, then we have proved that opposite angle, that means angle A equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. हमको प्रूफ करना है दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू प्रूफ दैट एंगल ए अपोजिट एंगल एंगल ए इक्वल टू एंगल सी एंड एंगल बी इक्वल टू एंगल डी इफ ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरालेलोग्राम सेम सिचुएशन ए बी इज पैरेलल टू सी डी एंड ए बी इज पैरेलल टू बी सी एंड आई एम कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑफ अ हियर जॉइंट डायगोनल बी डी सो गिवन हियर इन अ पैरालेलोग्राम ए बी इज पैरेलल टू सी डी एंड ए डी इज पैरेलल टू बी सी टू प्रूफ दैट एंगल ए इक्वल टू एंगल सी एंड एंगल बी इक्वल टू एंगल डी And constructions we have done here join B to D. See here in a parallel in a triangle ABD and triangle BCD. Here angle ABD, ABD and triangle BCD. See here here is the angle one. This angle, this angle 
one is equal to work angle two. Angle one equal to angle two. Again, this is the alternate angle. Similarly, angle angle work four is equal to angle three, or angle three is equal to angle four by the same condition. And now, see BD equal to BD, which is what common. So again, so therefore triangle ABD congruent to the triangle BCD by the same ASA action or property. Therefore, you can write here angle. Angle A is equal to angle C. This part. And now we have to prove that the second part, which is angle B equal to angle D. How this will be done? Just construct joint A to D. Sorry, A to C. And take in the take in the triangle A B C and triangle A C D and do the same thing. And directly you can write similarly in Triangle what A B C and triangle where A C D. These two triangle will be what? Common. Therefore, angle B equal to angle D. Therefore, angle B is equal to angle D. Hence, hence we have proved that angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. Okay. Please. Try to attempt uh, some questions from the exercise 14B as per possibility. At least up to question number five you are able to do. So please try to attempt the exercise 14B up to question number up to question number five. Okay and. After that, I will start the theorem number thirteen and fourteen. Okay, so please make a note. 